Hey, what's going on? This is Fernand Jimenez. I'm doing my fourth day of the 90 day video challenge for the virtual profit system. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about a little bit more of mindset and your why. Uh, your mindset is very important because your mindset has to do with the beliefs that are inside of your head. And these are the beliefs that also keep you um, limited, right? And they keep you from not thinking that this is going to, that you could change your life by doing certain activities, by doing um, certain functions, you know, just just certain activities online. Just do certain activities online and you will be able to uh, eventually influence the world. And eventually, they're going to invest in themselves with your products and services. Okay, so that's what's going on right there. Um, usually, you don't know about what can limit you. And that's why you stay comfortable. It's my little buddy right here. That's who I'm walking right now. See him, little buddy? But he always wants to go the long way, the wrong way. Okay. Um, so I'm going to talk today also about the... There's one guy that I, that I study with. His name is Joe Vitale. I love this guy. Joe Vitale is incredible. He believes a lot into the law of attraction. And <clears throat> he, was, uh, he says that there's three limiting beliefs that you have in your mind that keep you broke, that keep abundance away from you. Okay, and those beliefs, I will tell you one of them today. All right, so one of the beliefs that you have in your mind that is keeping abundance away from you is the belief that money is the root of all evil. Okay, and I'll put it straight away right here. It's the lack of money that's the root of all evil. It's not money. It would be like saying guns are the root of all evil. It's not guns. It's the people that don't know how to use them and the people that are not qualified to use them right there's people that shouldn't be just like those people that shouldn't be driving there shouldn't be there's people that shouldn't have guns right so same thing so yeah money's the root of all evil for some people that's what uh that's what's ruling them that's why to pursue money to pursue activities that could help you master the game of money would be to pursue evil right um Sometimes it's not, it's a little more subtle than that, the way you have it in your head, right? Sometimes it's trickier. Sometimes it's more like of, you know, when you're growing up and they say, hey, money doesn't grow on trees. Why are you spending it, right? Or you're not the owner of Exxon, so why, you know, why are you spending it? And, and you have that in your mind, right? Like, I'll give you one, a friend of mine told me, it was kind of in, it was kind of in, in, you know, it was indirect, but it made it seem. Yeah, I was remember once I was in college, and I was reading a book on finances and money and all that stuff. And my friend, who he had switched over from science to finance. He told me, he's like, you know what? There is only a certain amount of money and only a certain amount of people have it. And the rest of the people will never get it. And can you believe that I use that like, okay, fine, then give it up. Just become a doctor and just get paid. I, did, I believe that immediately. I, I stopped, right? It's only now, 20, 20 years later, that I realize that's just his opinion. There's abundance everywhere. There's trillions of dollars going right now through the economy, changing hands. All right? What you do when money's given to you is whether you keep that momentum going. Okay, so there you go. That's my, <laughs> my little meditation for the day out in the nature walking the beast. Beast, say hi. Look at the beast. All right. As always, beautiful people, keep growing.